welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is gonna be a 100% full drugstore glam. Without further ado, if you like the way this looks, please keep watching. Okay, so I already have my moisturizer and everything on. I did go with the drugstore one today, um, sticking with the whole drugstore theme. Um, so I went in with L'Oreal Revita Lift Bright Reveal Brightening Moisturizer, which does have SPF in it. So now I'm gonna go in with a primer. This is also L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock Illuminating Primer. And I use just like a pea size amount. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with brows. Today I'm going in with my Eyelore Brow Pencil. So I'm gonna go in with this and just fill in my brows. Lately I've been into a more kind of a natural brow, I guess. Yeah, so lately what I've been doing is just filling them in and then taking the spoolie side and running through them. As you can see it kind of um, softened them out I guess is the word I'm looking for carve them out so sticking with the whole drugstore theme I'm going to be priming my lids today with this is NYX HD concealer so I'm gonna set that with the, with some translucent powder and I'm gonna take my Cody Airspun powder and just put it on a fluffy brush. Next, we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow palette. And this, I am pleasantly surprised with. This is the Nudes Maybelline um, eyeshadow palette. I tried it out yesterday and at first when I used it, I was thinking, I don't like this, I, I don't think I just, it didn't leave a good impression at first, but then when I continued to do my makeup and finished everything, I loved it. Like I was, I was pleasantly surprised. So I'm gonna use it again today because I really liked the way that it came out yesterday. If I can get it open. All right, so this is the palette. Ooh, these are the colors, really pretty. So um, first I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna put that into the crease with a fluffy brush. It's almost like a sheer color, but I feel like it's a nice transition shade. Very soft, very subtle. Okay, so then I'm just taking it like windshield wiper motions, very softly. And the next shade I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with this one next, all over the crease. Next, I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush that doesn't have any product on it and just buff it out. And next I'm going to go in with a little bit of a deeper color, this shade right here. I'm going to take this one as actually a different brush. This is my Japanese. Um, the number came off, but it's just a, it's a dense brush. Um, I believe it is a blending brush. I'm not sure the number of it. Look at the two. This one is a lot more soft and fluffy. And then this one is a little bit more dense shade under there. And I'm just going to put this on my outer corner. And with this really dark color it's almost like a, a dark gray and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner just right here now I'm gonna go back in with this brush that I put this shade the shade right before I went from this shade to this shade and um, so I'm not gonna put any more product on this but I'm just gonna kind of try to blend them together so it all looks seamless 
I'm gonna move on to my lid shade and we're gonna go in with, I think this one, this one is a nice shade. I actually mixed these two together last night when I was doing my makeup, so I think I'll do the same thing today because I, I like the way that it turned out. In first with this shade, which is kind of the darker shade, but it is, um, it's not matte, it does have a shimmer to it. The other shades that I used in my crease, those are matte. I'm just gonna take this and place it all over my lid. I'm not cutting the crease today because it's just, you know, just an everyday look. Take the lighter one and put that on top of it, which also has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So now I'm gonna go in with my liner. You guys know that I like the NYX. This is the matte. I'm so sorry about my nails. Terrible right now, I know. Well, I'm probably gonna cut this part out because um, I showed you guys in my first video how I do my liner, so. Just gonna pop that on and be right back. Okay, so I am back. My liner is done. So I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I think I'm gonna mix two colors today because um, you'll notice my face is lighter than my body because I am, yeah. I'm gonna mix two today because this one is like really dark and then this one is like my normal color. So I'm gonna mix them together and see how it works out. So this one is the Superstay Full Coverage Maybelline. And this one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear. So next I'm gonna go in with my concealer and this is Celine Fit Me in Sand. Sam Sable. Okay, now we're gonna go in and set. Okay, and you guys already know I am loving this Pure Bake Banana Baking Powder by Makeup Obsession, which I picked up at Target. go in and set my foundation with my Cody Airspun powder. So for contour today, I'm going to go in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. That is this one right here. Uh, I'm going to try this shade for contour. I think I'm going to mix in a little bit of this color, the darker shade. The Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, that is this one right here. This is in the shade Deep Bronzer. I'm gonna go in with my Milani, this is so pretty, Milani Blossom Time Rose Powder Blush. Next, I'm going to bake a little bit under my cheek bones and cheeks, so I might look a little crazy. I'm just gonna go in with a flat tip brush and go in with this shade. Okay, and then um, for my outer corner, I'm gonna go in with this one. Next, I'm gonna go in with my inner corner highlight and we're gonna go with this gorgeous shade up here. I'm going to dust away this baking powder and as I've said before, when I dust that away, I like to take this brush. It's a, just a, it's clean, but this is the one I use to dust away my powder every day. So when I'm dusting this away, I like to take it all over my face just to kind of blend everything together and make it one seamless face. We are going to use the Blinding Master Chrome Molten Gold. This stuff right here is unreal. It's blinding, so if you don't like a blinding highlight, you're not gonna like this, because this one is kapow. Oh my God. Like, you could see someone's reflection in that. Yeah, so if you don't like super, super dramatic highlight, you're not gonna like this. I 
I try to blend this out as much as possible because you don't, like I mentioned before, you don't want just, you know, on your cheeks. I'm gonna pop up my lashes and mascara and I'll be right back. So I am back with lashes on. These are the are the Ilore Vegas Nay Platinum Princess lashes. Let's see if you can see them. Yeah, I like them. I think they're really cute. They're kind of short for me. So lipstick today, we're gonna go in with Milani. This is the Amore Matte Lip Cream in Adorable. one step further and do a little topper of nude lust and this is by I think it's Maybelline I think this is Maybelline and I'm just gonna pop that in the middle let's go in with the Garnier skin active soothing facial mist for setting makeup today because this is drugstore alrighty guys that is the finished look 100% drugstore glam on a budget I guess if you want to call it so that's it for this video today if you got to the end thank you so much for spending time with me and watching my videos and supporting me I will see you guys on the next video Bye.